Hi, my name's Andy Proudman from Me and My Golf, and today we're in our indoor studio, and we're going to show you and talk about the shank, okay? So, first of all, what is a shank? A shank is basically when the, the ball hits the hosel of the golf club, so this part here, okay? And generally, it will shoot out straight right, so it goes off almost to the 45 degree angle straight right, and, it, and if you've had something like this, then you know it's a quite a destructive shot and quite hard to recover. Um, so today I want to go through what causes the shank, you know, what, what, are the, what are the swing faults that tend to cause this, and then how can we correct it when we're on the driving range. Now, a lot, I know a lot of people have this problem, and once, once they have one on the golf course, they tend to sort of repeat this and have quite a few. So if you're on the, if you're on the range, I'm going to show you an exercise that's going to let you know if you're doing the wrong movement, also showing you how, how, the sort of, how this shank comes about, if you like, because most people think they're doing it from another way. So, first of all, a shank generally doesn't happen because the club face is too open. So, a lot of you out there think that, okay, if I'm hitting the heel or, or the hosel of the golf club, then a lot of you think that, well, surely if I'm hitting the heel, then the club is coming in like this with the club face way open and the hosel hitting the golf ball. Now, I can tell you that I've not ever seen that cause a shank, okay? Now... Two common things for me which I see that cause a shank. Generally the first one, over the top. So we've talked about the over the top swing fault in previous videos that as we swing in the downswing, the club moves over the plane. And as the club moves over the plane, the golf club is obviously moving more towards that golf ball and actually sometimes sort of past it. So from here now, that hosel is presenting itself much more towards that golf ball. Okay, so... That's probably the most common cause. So generally, if you're someone who shanks it, that's a very common one, over the top swing fault. So if you're on plane, okay, you can still be on plane here or on a decent angle, but you're still hitting the hosel, then something else is different. Now that means that your plane is actually just shifting forward. Okay, now a couple of other things that I see people do in their setup. So from a setup point of view here, Okay, if you start with your weight on your heels, okay, that means you can lift your toes up and down. Okay, that's a bad starting position because we don't use our legs to drive from, um, we don't drive from the heels. We want to make sure the weight's in a good active position on the balls of the feet. So if I start on my heels and then swing back, I'm going to shift weight to the balls of my feet and then drive, which actually pushes everything forward. And as you can see there, the heel now is right up against that golf ball. So that's another one. So what you can do in terms of checking that in your position, I would suggest on the range is once you're in your posture, can you make sure that from a good posture position you can lift each heel up and down? I don't want to see any of these toes moving up and down when we're over the golf ball. That means that the weight's too far back. So that's a great checkpoint for your posture. Okay? Now the next drill, this is to... More for the people who are swinging over the top of the plane, but still a great cure to, to sort of work on, even if you're sort of your posture's off as well. So I'm going to get the, go the cover. I'm going to use the head cover for this. And I'm going to place the cover right next to the golf ball and literally give myself hardly any space. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that golf ball and the cover are right up against each other. So if my golf club moves forward in the downswing, Guess what, I'm going to take that cover out and I'm going to be walking on the driving range to keep on fetching it. So, and believe me, we see that a lot on, on here as well. So, if you can put that cover there, this is now going to force you to keep the golf club much more inside or what we call under the plane, okay, or on plane. So from here, it's really going to sort of almost force you to go away from that because if you do that, you can see you're going to hit the cover, okay? And it's going to help you just keep that golf club a little bit more back and hopefully on a much better swing plane and give you that nice solid contact. And if you do shank it, you'll be hitting the cover first and the ball will still go off at right angles there. So great exercise to do, but something that, again, I always see, you know, a lot of people who come to me and that they're sort of struggling with this contact issue, they tend to think it's the wrong thing. They think, okay, I must be coming with the face open. They try doing the closing the club face quickly and, and get themselves in a, sort of all sorts of wrong swing thoughts, which can cause further damage to the golf swing. So 
If you are someone who shanks it, think about more of what your swing plane is doing. Generally, that's the main thing. And a good way to just check your posture, make sure the weight is on the balls of the feet, not on the heels. And make sure you can lift the heels up and down from an address position. Okay? Give that a go. If you are someone who struggles with the shanks and that's helped, let us know. We'd like to know your feedback of how you're going on. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.